may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. First of all, there's a lot of rumors and everything flying tonight about what happened in Israel today. Now, there was an, an incident that happened there, but uh, I've noticed how Turner has on here. He's went completely off his rocker tonight. He's, he's saying there's 17 dead, 51 injured, but there's only four dead and there's 51 injured. He's also saying one of their top brass has been assassinated. That is not truth either. But like I said, he doesn't like the Jews. You've got to be very careful with him because he really likes to put it out there that Iran's done some serious damage to Israel. So you've got to be very careful because a lot of people keep sending me this stuff. And I, the more I've looked into it, and I, we've got a mirror that's on the ground in Israel. He's not reporting it and many others. Now, what is coming out of there is that four have passed. And I think there was some in critical that hasn't died yet, but they're still being worked on. And this was from a flying drone that flew into Israel tonight, disguised. It was in between missile uh, launches. That's what threw it off. But no matter what the case is, it's definitely going to bring a, a major uh, beat down on top of Hezbollah's head for doing it. But see, here's the thing. Uh, Biden had told Israel not to fire on Hezbollah right now. So they had quit attacking Hezbollah through the air. Well, when they did this, then they attacked Israel. So you can put this all on Biden's head because literally he's the one who caused it. He's the one who told them that, you know, uh, he's working out something that Hezbollah and them had agreed on something. So they quit launching their attacks upon Hezbollah. So they did, and then this happened. So that's, once again, Biden gets himself in a lot of trouble in these moments. Let's see if a mirror's uploaded anything yet. Still nothing from a mirror. Let's see. Not getting much from it. Let's see what else we got here. That's emergency oxygen messages. North Korea has issued a high alert to its high, uh, artillery units near the border, directing them to be ready to launch fire at any moment. I don't know what's going on there, but it seems like it's getting hot and heavy there. Now, here's what I was talking about. This has been released by the IDF. Like I said, these other ones are adding to it. They always do when it comes to Israel. Yesterday, a UAV uh, launched by a Hezbollah terrorist organized organization hit an army base. Forty four IDF soldiers were killed in the incident. The IDF shares in its grief and the uh, the uh, and its families, and will continue to uh, accompany them. We ask for refrain from spreading rumors and names of injured individuals, and to respect the families. Unlike what they're doing here in America, when they're just adding to it. Let's see. More stuff coming out about people and. What's happening there with the Carolinas? There's still a lot of bad reports. And somebody wanted to know about what if we can help if they send money to get the heaters and stuff. Now, what I tell you to do, if you're going to send money, make sure if you donate it to us, make sure you let us know how much you donated and you want to go to this. And we'll make sure that gets to these uh, these individuals that are dozing the uh, individuals' yards and stuff like that because these people are are not big companies and they need money to stay there and it's, we're just basically paying for their gas so they can keep clearing people's driveways because the main companies can't do that they're working on the main road which in some places is completely gone so just make sure that we know 
what you're donating and what you want to go to, and that's what we'll do, okay? And we thank everybody for that because they're going to need help for at least till we're raptured out of here. Hopefully that's soon. All right, today's attacks by Hezbollah were very high in number versus normal, or the 20, 20th per day. Hezbollah launched 38 different attacks on Sunday, October 13th. It's been going off all day. Hezbollah uh, focused on targeting the gatherings of Israel soldiers, hitting Israel bases and settlements. Israel has not retaliated yet tonight, which is very bizarre uh, compared to what it saw a few days ago and nights ago. Not sure what Israel is planning, but see, like I told you, they worked something out with Biden. Biden had convinced them to quit launching attacks, and then this happened to them. It's kind of like it was planned. I hate to say it, but that's the way it looks. It don't look good. For several nights, drones have been flying over Langley Airfield there in Virginia. We talked about that today. They're still looking into this, and they don't know what's causing it and who's doing it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. If you're on Telegram, make sure you have Keegan Fernandez and you have Marty's two minute warning. Let's see. It says Beirut will probably not sleep tonight. That's coming in from Amir. Like I said, we got Amir on the ground. I kind of wait for his assessment because he, he's very honest with his assessments and he's on the ground in Israel. So we'll, we'll go by what he comes up with. These other people, they exaggerate the numbers like crazy because they hate Israel. According to my sources, I can report that a tentative date has been fixed for the operation against Iran. I want to report something very crucial here that I have picked up from my sources and endangers the, uh, it, but it endangers the lives of troops on guard. Could be, lead to a leak, but yes, it's simply the Israel's response is not going to be small in any ways because we're still hearing that whatever this is Israel is planning to do is it's pretty big. All right. See what else have we got here? We're just trying to do updates because there's a lot of false inf narratives going out right now, and we want to make sure that the the news is correct. Let's see. Now, I knew that would happen as soon as it happened to Israel, that they would get on and exaggerate the numbers. That's what they do. Let's see. I'm tired. I've been working all day trying to get this place cleaned up. Let's see. This is new. Ireland has openly declared its intention to sacrifice its own troops to defend Hezbollah, to defend Iran terrorists in Lebanon. The Lebanese are now even willing to defend these. Uh, the Lebanese are even willing to defend the terrorists. They fled, but Ireland is. So, there's your Dublin, Shelley. Let's see, what we covered today about the peacekeepers. A lot of stuff moving in China where we've not been covering it, but they're surrounding Taiwan again, so we're keeping an eye on it. If anything out of ordinary comes up, we'll let you know. But we are watching China. They, they are on the move. Let's see. Says Israel's broadcasting authority, political level, directed the, the army not to bomb Beirut after a phone call between Netanyahu and Biden. That's what we talked about. And then that thing happened tonight. So it's kind of like, well, it don't look good. It does not look good. And it's already starting to be broadcast there in Israel. Says Israeli, Israeli media outlets, Can 11, and Ynet report that IDF had not carried out airstrikes on the Hezbollah targets in Beirut over the past three days following orders from the country's authorities because Biden, they were trying to do what Biden told them to do. Biden threatened Israel to stop hitting Beirut, so they did. He threatened to withhold much needed weapons and then comes death from Hezbollah from Beirut. So it looks like we set it up. If we did, God knows about it and it's not going to be pretty. 
which God, or I'm telling you, America's about to be judged like and it's already started. So if they was behind this, it will come swiftly. Netanyahu stopped listening to the satanical possessed uh, something uh, about anything. He is he is costing lives a number of wounded and has blood drone attack in the area has risen to 67. Like I said, they're not very happy because Biden told them to stand down and they did and they got attacked. That won't happen again, I'm sure. It will be full out war now on Hezbollah's head. I don't know what I hear that's going on. It sounds like a big airplane going over top of the, the house or a helicopter. All right, here's a statement that's being broadcast. The Israel Defense Force has released their first statement following tonight's Hezbollah drone attack on military base near the town in northwestern Israel. Four Israeli soldiers being killed in the attack while others, another seven, suffered serious injuries. This, in addition to the 61 injured, were transported and treated by uh, Megan David Adams, the ambulance service. That's the ones we donate to. Uh, it's in a description box. It's a great uh, place to donate because they lose so many drivers, so many, so much stuff, and so many of their ambulances. So it's one that we, we work with each month. Let's see... The soldiers that were killed in the attack will be revealed later with an investigation on ongoing to determine how and why the drone was not intercepted by the Israel Air Defense Array. Let's see. Ex-President uh, President Dmitry Medvedev says NATO will eventually throw Ukraine in the trash. No, nothing surprises me about NATO anymore. Let's see what else we got here. All right. This was it's definitely older. All right. What time we got? I want to keep you too long tonight. Tomorrow's Monday. Oh, fun Monday. Russia is responsible for 80% of uh, foreign influence operations in the world, according to the Czech Republic. Lebowski towed coverage uh, on Prague on October 9th. Russia is currently responsible for 80% of uh, influence operations in the world. This is four times more than the rest of the world combined, a statement shared in Newsweek. According to the study, Princeton University, Russia is responsible for 61% of foreign influence operations in the world. China, Iran are the other major players far behind Russia. In other words, the Kremlin is uh, accountable for half again of any information operations as the rest of the world combined. In other words, that's like putting out false narratives in people's pub, you know, news and stuff like that. They do a lot of that stuff here in America. China does it too. China does a lot of that stuff here. With TikTok and other things that they use. They also control a lot of YouTube with a lot of their bots. A lot of times that we we go to block people. They're not even people. They're bots. They're Chinese bots. They also dominate Facebook. So right now, it's it's hard. Like I said, it's very hard in these last days to get a grip of what the real news is because we're being lied to and deceived by so many. We're seeing that a lot with what happened in the Carolinas and Florida and Georgia and those areas in Tennessee that was hard hit by Helene. A lot of false narratives and stuff. Uh, we had a lot of people was coming out and telling us what's going on there on the ground while the government was coming telling us they was lying. And they, the people that was filming out of there was showing the truth. You could see it with your own eyes. While the government was getting on CNN, MSNBC, Fox, and telling everybody an absolute lie. Because like I said, they kind of left those people out to dry. They surely did. Uh, FEMA never showed up to half the locations, didn't even care to. So there was a lot of bad stuff happening there. And a lot of the people that applied for even that $750 that lost everything they had, none of them got approved. be honest with you, I've not known one person yet that's been approved for it. But see, when you go to another country like they do Ukraine, they send them cash. They just handle cash. 
they hand cash to these uh, illegal immigrants. They don't have to do no red tape, no signing anything. Only Americans, that's their money, that they make them try to pay that money back and not even qualify for it. I remember a long time ago that I lost that stuff like that and I applied, but only the illegal, illegal immigrants got the grants. I applied for it and never got it. That's the only ones that get approved for these grants and all this stuff is illegal, illegal immigrants. Americans cannot get their own money. And right there it tells you, but people keep voting these people in. That's why I told you, you have no friends in the government on either ticket. If you think you do, if you think Trump and Vance is your friend, you're sadly mistaken. None of them are. And they don't care about you. They'll tell you anything you want to hear to get in office and then do nothing. That's just what they do. The only one that can fix this mess, and it's a global mess, it's not just here in America, it is God himself. Jesus will come and pull the church out of here, and then he will fix this mess. He will basically do a cleansing of this earth, and that's the only way to clean it, is to cleanse it. Sadly, that's just where we came. We live in an unbelieving world that's evil beyond anything. Most people don't even know how truly evil this country and many other ones are. They don't have a clue. If they did, they wouldn't be able to sleep at night. But these people, they steal from the American people, take their money, give it to everybody else while they can't even afford to stay in a hotel room because they just lost all their stuff. And people still will not wake up to realize only Jesus can fix it. They're still, just like the Jews, they're expecting a man to come and save them. And they're all going to get it. He's called the Antichrist. That's what they're going to get. That's what they want. And they're going to get it very soon because we're going to disappear and he's going to come on the scene. He's going, uh, Satan's going to and fro. We're watching him all over the world, all over the world. He's got his hands in everything. He controls the church, the banks, the militaries around the world. He controls it all. God has pretty much took his hands off the wheel and let Satan run him, do his little thing. And then Jesus is going to pull us. The restrainer will be removed and all this hell will come up on this earth like we've never seen. That is what's coming. We've tried to warn people as much as we can. And we're going to keep doing that until we're out of here. I don't know when the rapture is. I know it's here somewhere because I can see it because all these prophecies are coming to pass. And he said, when you see them to start, look up. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm telling you to do what the Bible tells me to do. And that's to look up. Don't take your eyes off of it. Quit listening to people. I tell you it's got to be here. It's got to be in 2025, 2020. Listen, get away from that. Watch Israel. That is your beacon. That is your sign. You don't need somebody telling you when a day it is. Listen, be watching Israel and be ready at any time to go home. That is the truth. That is biblical. That is what the scripture tells us. It doesn't tell us to wait till the next feast day. It does not say that. Watch Israel. Israel is at a peak of their of this war that they're going to have to do something drastically because their economy can't take much more. Economies cannot be just strung out. They don't have money coming in. Okay? And eventually, the rapture will happen and America will be no more. And that's the only one actually doing anything for America. What little it's doing and what little it's try, not trying to sabotage them. But literally... We will be removed, and Israel will be on her own. The Antichrist will step in quickly, probably through the Abraham Accords, and literally get Israel to drop their shields and everything else, drop their walls, and they will. And then we all know how that goes. It don't go very well for them, but they'll figure it out in the halfway in the middle of the tribulation that the Antichrist will call himself God. But we're sitting here in the time period that the Antichrist is being moved upon the land when we leave. He's, they're just getting everything ready for it. The warm in his seat, as we would call it in sports, back when, when he was a bench warmer. That's right now, he's, they're basically just warming up his seat until he can get in there. They know he's here. They know he's coming. They're just waiting. They're hoping and praying we get raptured out of here as soon as possible so they can get him out in the public. That's what they want. They don't want us here. They want us gone. They know there's a rapture. Unlike the church and most of the Christians, they actually know there's a rapture. 
Satan's not stupid. He knows scripture. He knows there's a rapture. That's one of the reasons he wants to stop it because he knows it's coming. But we will be removed and then he will put the Antichrist into power very quickly after the restrainer is removed. He cannot be revealed until we're gone. Cannot be. I don't care who he is. Like I said, I've always said, I don't care if he's Ronald McDonald. Everybody's like, it's Trump. It's Obama. It's, who cares? We're not here. Okay. What I'm trying to tell you is we leave and then he will be revealed. Okay. The tribulation saints will have to deal with him. And a lot of these people will probably have them looking at completely wrong people. And it's probably going to mess them up. I will not that's why I say I don't, I never get into it because if you're wrong, well, you've misled a lot of people in the tribulation. So you better know a hundred thousand percent and none of them does. They can sit there and say they do. They don't. So that's why I don't get in it. I don't care if I did have a, an, uh, an idea. I wouldn't say it because I don't know. You got to be careful when you're doing that because if these videos do stay up and people are looking at these people and it's not them, you'll come in right under them and it's going to mess them up. That's why I don't do it. People don't think of that stuff. They don't use the They don't think. You got to think. The Bible says we won't know who he is. Well, that if the Bible tells me that we won't know. How does these other people know? They don't. Trust Jesus and Jesus alone. God will reveal to them who he is once it's time, but it's not for us. We're going to leave and then that will be revealed. Okay. We know Israel was attacked tonight. So that means that whatever is going to come for Iran is now going to also come for Hezbollah after what they did. So expect that. The Hezbollah stuff will probably start tomorrow, even though Biden's asked them to stop. I don't think that's ever going to happen again because they've learned their lesson that Anytime we tell them to stop, they're going to get attacked. And I think that it was all rigged. I really do. It just looks rigged. It looks rigged. And I think Israel's already asking themselves that question. So, God, only God knows for sure if we set them up. If we did, we'll know pretty soon. Which we know America is on its last days. And it's coming to an end. It's all going to collapse. Most people will never believe that, but they're going to see it with their own eyes. But for unfortunately for most of them, it'll be too late. They're going to go down with the ship. I'm just telling you tonight, you don't have to go down with the ship. You can be raptured, and that is by believing what Jesus did on the cross. He died on the cross. He, was, he died, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. If you believe Jesus died for you and he rose again, you can go home. You don't have to be down here when all this chaos ensued, okay? Because that's what's coming. It's judgment upon the world. There's no great revival. None of that stuff's coming. What's coming is judgment. And then the millennial reign. And then so on. That's what's coming. Only Jesus can fix this mess. No political person is going to fix it. It's gone. It's past gone. It's past gone. Nobody's coming to fix it. Except Jesus. And he will clear it and clean it. And he's going to redo it. That's the only way is to get rid of the mess. And that's what's coming. So get on that ark before it's too late. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died, was buried, rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Trust Jesus and Jesus alone. Don't take our word for anything. Don't take any man's word for anything. Always go to Jesus and have it confirmed. We appreciate everybody that's Donate through PayPal, buy me coffees, and the ones who bought the super stickers. We appreciate all your letters that you send and all the information you're sending us, like I said. Those in California, keep your eyes open for this earthquake and also what's going on down there in San Diego. If you have eyes on in that area, make sure that we know if there's something out of the ordinary that you're seeing. Also in the South Dakotas and on the West Coast towards Portland, if you're up there around the volcanoes, we have any brothers and sisters on the ground. I know they're lying to us and we're not getting proper data. So is the same way with Yellowstone. If you can give us the correct information with boots on the ground there, we would appreciate it big time. All of our brothers and sisters in the Carolinas, Tennessee, and uh, Florida that was affected. Uh, if you need any help, make sure that if there, we got any brothers and sisters that was in that area to let us know. 
Okay, we're trying to get help there as many ways as we can. There's a lot of people doing it. And we're here trying to do the best we can to get you the help, okay? I think that covers it for tonight. I kept you a little bit longer than I thought I would keep you because I want to get the correct information out there about Israel. Like I said, there's four confirmed dead, 61 injured, and this is a drone attack. So it's not the 20 dead and everything else that these other ones are calling for. That's They're adding to the numbers as usual. When it comes to Israel, they add numbers. you got to be very careful. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see you hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube. Letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep. Those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.